Hey everybody, it's Andy here, aka Montolio, and we're back for a vintage challenge today, and we're going to be running back Bug. Had a pretty good weekend with Bug last weekend, and I still think that this deck is fairly well positioned. Um, made a few changes today. Uh, I guess the first one in the main deck you will note is that I am running an extra fatal push. There are a lot more... Uh, people that are playing Bug and Psychic Frogs in general, and I just think the removal is generically good. Uh, it, it's going to hit things in most decks. I guess Jewel is the one spot where it's not probably great against. You can certainly get Saga tokens with it, but outside of that, it's just a card that we can discard to Psychic Frog if we do draw it. And I am going back and trying Life from the Loam again. Uh, Justin played a Bug League the other day, and he was on Loam and had success where I typically have not with Life from the Loam. This is, uh, you know, even before Psychic Frog, a card that saw play in Bug. And uh, obviously it uh, does work fairly well with Frog. Uh, you know, in the most recent Bizarre Bug lists, uh, this was uh, a card that was uh, seeing substantial play in that list and I ironically had more success with it there than I have in this list I just always find it's a card that I'm not wanting when I when I do actually draw it and when I do draw it it's ineffectual and but Justin played uh with it and it won him a couple games so I'm going to go back and I'm going to try it again I mean the card obviously synergizes very well with a lot of what we're doing and we are running an extra besage you today which makes it even more justifiable to wanting to try it to help us against uh, artifacts and sagas. So anyways, we're going to try the loam. We're, we're cutting down on one Bowmaster to do that, and we are going to run an extra Fatal Push here. can't remember what I cut for that. Oh, I cut Demonic Tutor. Demonic Tutor is a good card, I'm not going to lie, and it's probably a little bit crazy enough to be running it. But this deck is extremely redundant, and it's one of the reasons why you don't run cards like Vampiric Tutor in, in these types of lists, because you're not typically looking for one card that's just going to win you the game. These are just, uh, we have several of each type of card in our list, and I'm going to try without the Demonic Tutor today, and we'll just see how it goes. That's my main deck. I, I did try and fit a basic into this deck for initiative and for the artifact, uh, or, you know, for all the shops lists that are running around out there that have uh, wastelands in it, ghost quarters. But Abrupt Decay is more popular right now than Assassin's Trophy, and that is probably the deciding factor why I'm not going to put the basic in here. I just feel like uh, having all my colors. Is more important than having the basic and getting the basic off the initiative. Yes, it is something, but we're, we're going to worry about uh, that if we run into an initiative. But it's one of those things that when you have it and it works, you love it. And when you don't, it's, uh, you feel bad sometimes. But can't fit everything in this deck list. And onto the sideboard, as you can see, I, I'm quite prepared for artifacts. I've got uh, a Besage you two claims, two consigned memories, two flux, and a vigor in my board. Oh, that's, that's another card that I cut was Force of Vigor out of the main deck. We'll see if we get punished for that. And I have a very robust removal suite. Two Fatal Pushes and Abrupt Decay and Dismember. Uh, in addition to my two main deck Fatal Pushes and two Abrupt Decays. And the biggest thing that you can see in this list is that I am cheating on Graveyards. Uh, Dredge in particular. I only have a Yixla Jailer and two Gravedigger's Cage. If I run into Dredge, that is not likely to be enough for me to for me to be able to beat them. But Dredge is not really in the metagame right now. And I did run a Dredge League the other day, and I just got absolutely steamrolled. Like it just the deck was doing what it was supposed to do, and I, I just was losing. So I feel like you've got to be fairly Voyager to be playing any types of bizarre decks these days. And uh, if we do run into it, then there, there's a chance that we will lose. Not guarantee. I mean, we've got innate things built into our deck, like Deathrite Shamans are very good, and they can take over a game if left on a cost. And we do have the three pieces with the two Graph Diggers and the, the Yixled, and if I'm able to resolve one of those and protect it, it's pretty good. Right, a couple of Sage Us. Or wastelands and a strip mine to be able to disrupt their plan and try and get in but it's not likely to be a winning strategy 
against them. But yeah, that's what we've got today, guys. We're doing a little bit of metagaming today and uh, uh, trying to titrate a little bit more towards these mirrors and being able to win them. So let's see how it goes. If you haven't done, also, uh, done so already, guys, please like, comment, subscribe. We're going to see round one. Hello, everybody. Round one. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Pretty strong. I guess we're just going to go... I'm just going to play Tropical, I think. I guess probably Fetching is likely better just to thin our deck down a little bit. This hand is obviously suspect if the Ancestral doesn't work, but... It is what it is. So we will get the underground seed here. And let's ancestral ourselves and see if that works. We have a missed up. That's right. Okay, so it looks like we're probably playing a bug mirror. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to time walk here. That works. That's good. Do I want to get a frog into play? Or do I just wasteland them and kill their creature? I kind of like that, to be honest. Yeah, this is just best case scenario for me. Just in, okay. Hopefully my opponent is struggling on land here. Oh no. Maybe just have a, an abrupt decay here. Oh guys, we're really uh, flooding out here quite a bit. Well, let's see if they've got it. Okay, they didn't. A little bit of a lucky win there for us. I mean, I, I think that the, without an answer to the Psychic Frog, we were likely to win. And I was probably going to besage you their Lotus because most of the bug lists are not running basics. So, um... I think all the removal is really what we want here in this match.
Like, is collector better than days? Probably. I mean, Collector Roof is a reasonably low-impact card, but you quite often do want creatures in these battles. Maybe it's better than Days here. Yeah, I think this is probably where we need to be. A little bit risky with the one land. So I am going to be proactive and do this. I'm going to get an Ancestral, or an Underground Sea, and I'm going to Ancestral here. I will fight over it. Okay, look. Land is what we needed. We didn't necessarily need three of them. Okay, that's good news for me. Okay, the tropical. They likely do have removal here. Then I'm not going to fight over a Bowmaster. I'd like a blue card here. We'll see if this one resolves. Okay, it is in. My shields are down here for a turn, but Abrupt Decay can deal with anything my opponent does. Hopefully they don't have a play. They're just going to drain me here. And next turn we can start Loaming. I mean, this has to be removal, right? I guess let's attack. 
I should attack with my orc army though if I'm going to kill this death right and I I don't think that I think they're just sitting on removal here it has to be this way this is aggressive of me So they do have an abrupt decay through a land, which is not optimal. This is what I'm talking about, loam, right? Like it just, this is kind of what happens when I have it. Like I don't even want want a loam next turn. I'm not interested in that. I realize there's circumstances where that that is not the case, but so I want to let this resolve. I have three cards. Now, if I draw a collector, if loaming is a lot better because I'd be looking for a wasteland. Do I want to let this roll? I, I think I have to. Not in a great spot right now, but I guess if we untap, we have Force of Will up. Okay. One more fetchable land in my deck. Not ideal. There was a good one. Next turn, we can start loaming. Okay. All right. So loam would have started to matter there because I would have been working towards wastelands which obviously is not great when my opponent has five mana and blue mana but of course most importantly in this circumstance is being able to have three lands that i can pitch to psychic frog which will close the game out quite quickly but of course that does come in a gamble of not drawing a, a creature or something like that to be able to continue my board state going wide hard to know what was right there but we'll take that see you next round okay everybody here we are in round two. We're playing against Jewel. Um, we're on the draw, unfortunately. This would be a megalithic hand if we were not, but I do think it's a keep. 
We can set up a potential turn to collect a roof here. Let's hope my opponent is only having a setup turn, not going off. Okay, that's pretty scary. Black Lotus would be good. We do have the Abrupt Decay here, turn two, to be able to deal with Vault Key if I get to that position. So this is a challenging situation for us because we've also got to deal with potentially constructs here. Well, let's see what my opponent has, if anything. They may not have another land here or Mox. They might just be completely in on Vault Key. Soul Ring. Look, I, I, I feel like I need to counter this. I'm going to. I'm going to get a black source here. There are a number of things that could go wrong here, but I feel like this is a, a good opportunity for me to stop my opponent from getting any constructs, which solves that problem for me. And if things go well, I can untap an abrupt decay. But I'm cold here. I am not able to daze now unless my opponent cast the key right now. Okay, I'm going to let that happen. Okay, so we threaded the first issue. Force of Will was a fantastic draw for us. So now what we're going to do is we're going to let our opponent search up the key, let them activate their Time Vault. They could make a Construct here, which would be unfortunate, but... So what's interesting here is, unfortunately, the way things, uh, there's not much I could have done to prevent this, but I would be much more interested in killing their Manifold Key versus their Time Vaults because it's going to be able to untap their, their Mana Vaults for a significant amount of mana, but there's nothing I can do about that. We just have to kill the Time Vault here and, and feel good about it. Once again, Abrupt Decay showing its metal here. Uh, uncounterable is, is no joke. I think I'm going to take the value that Daze is giving me here. Okay. 
but I do have a force of will here this time. Okay, can we get a collector roof? Let's take a peek here, see if we can get that collector roof. We did not get a roof. Um, I think I'm going to ancestral myself here and hope they do not have... Um... Okay, Spell Pierce is pretty good here. Save that fetch for potentially wanting to brainstorm. I'm not going to cap the death right here. And of course, I will brainstorm at the end of my turn if my opponent does not do anything. All right, I am going to brainstorm here. Draw one of the death rights, which is fine. Opponent has one card in hand, so I'm feeling like we're in a pretty good position here. I'm going to cast Psychic Frog. And I'm going to continue to hold up Spell Pierce. We will fetch end of turn. Next turn I will abrupt decay that Mana Vault. Okay, playing nicely around my Spell Pierce. So they have a Psychic Frog here, and I do have Abrupt Decay. Get another green, so maybe I get a bayou here. Not the best, guys, but we might need some help if they have a big top deck that I have to force a will right away. Uh, hopefully they don't draw anything here. What we're trying to dodge is Saga. 
and any big play. Okay, I felt like we were playing a game of inches there. We threaded uh, threaded the needle fairly well in the early game, and I feel good about that. Definitely want the Seiju. We had a lot of tools to bring in here. So what do we want to take out? I don't know that we need Loam in this matchup. I feel like Fatal Push is probably not at its best. And I also don't feel like Abrupt Decay is likely to be a, a big player, despite it was quite good in that particular circumstance of being able to remove the Time Vault. How many more do I need to cut here, too? Probably can cut Cataxian Probe. 20 lands is a lot. I feel like Bug has a really good matchup against Jewel. It's one of our stronger matchups. So, this hand is a little bit tricky because I, I really would have liked to have a Force of Will in my opener with a strong follow-up. Now, if my opponent is having a setup turn, this hand could be good, because Brainstorm can fix some of the problems that we have, if not all of them. We've got consigned, consigned to sit on. But if they have a really big turn one, into monolith into ring. That'd be pretty bad for me if that was the case, but Yep. All right. Well, that's the world we're living in, guys. Black Lotus can sign
I'm going to have to let them draw a bunch of cards this turn. We still have energy fluxes and out. And we need to get into a... We need a lot of different things, apparently, but we really need a collect rouge next turn to, to reliably have a chance here. Soul Ring is not our fight. Five cards. They could tap down for a Mastercore here. My hope is that they do nothing. And that allowing me to brainstorm. It's not likely to be the case, though. It's a Mastercore. Okay. Can I get a collector roof, guys? I cannot. I am going to have to brainstorm here. I don't really have a choice. Okay. Um, Leovold is going to be good next turn. The problem is they're drawing several cards this turn. I guess I just have way too many lands here. I think I can get rid of one of the death rites. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, we're in a world of hurt here. We'll fetch for an underground sea here, and hopefully we can have another big play like they did last turn, like a, a worm coil or another Argentum Masticore. And we can counter that and untap, and hopefully they'll be underneath their bobble, and we will be able to resolve a Leovold. I mean, they've drawn seven cards here. It's not great for me, our position, but. Is this a duel? It is. Okay, well, hopefully we can get this through a force of will because they could very easily sacrifice their bauble. I don't have the ability to replicate here. Okay. Saga, okay. I'm going to need to resolve Leobold. There's just no options. It's in. All right.
Hopefully they top the ring. I expect they're probably just going to cast another ring here. At least I hope that's what they're going to do. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's raining really hard here. a metamorph okay nope just a ring okay i mean look i think this is good for me and they're gonna sit back on saga hopefully and we can deal with the construct they still can draw a card during my turn Probably going to need. Ooh, they have Academy. Ooh, that's not one I want to see. Okay. Ugh. I only have three cards here. What would I prefer to kill? I think I have to kill their saga here. I, I hate to do it. I just have to really hope that they don't have... Uh, I just cast death right here and like I don't and just chump block with the death right they can't draw another card here because of my Leobold if I do decide to besage you them now besage you costs me one I can besage you their Talarian Academy I have a wasteland for another saga. And I guess I elk that the following turn. Is that my turn? Oh, they don't have a basic. Okay, that's great for me. Let's 
So they got one card off me there, but my Leopold did save me from them going nuts. We're definitely not winning this game, but we are hanging around. Yeah, that's a scary, scary card. Yikes. I guess they just flashed their one ring here. Oh, interesting. Okay. I'm going to take eight. I guess I'll take all of this. That was a good draw. This Leovold's really causing me problems on my opposing uh, my opponent's side because I'm not really able to do much against their stuff. So what do I want to do with this? I can make this a 3-3. Three, three. Or I can make my death right. Why would I do that? I can just chump block. The other option is I just chump block this thing. And try and exchange perhaps next turn it's power three or less right and i can take their displacer kitten the safest thing to do well they're going to attack me with everything here at ogo I gotta take the gamble here. I'm low at life. I really don't want to give them any cards. I have a counter spell for whatever it is they do next turn. So we're just gonna have to hope. I don't I'm not thrilled to have to chump lock with my death right, but it is what it is. I am going to have to deal with this Leovold on the opposing side here at some point. What do we need here? I feel like my best card is Energy Flux.
I guess I just don't need to worry about targeting Leovold because they're just drawing a card every turn with this particular setup. What if I let Leovold die, or uh, Oko die? Probably can't do that. I'm going to need to do something with uh, this construct and this Displacer Kitten. The Displacer Kitten's a really nasty combo. I'm in a bad spot here. That that was an awful draw. This is divulging into a, a long game here. Okay. That's my play. I have a lot of good stuff in my deck. I just need to be able to find it. So they can kill my Oko here, and there's not much I can do about it. Probably worm coils are best. If they get a jewel, that's so good for me because I have uh, Leobold in play. 
And that is a common line for these decks to go and get Jewel, but I'll have to see whether my opponent's thinking about the Leovold when they do. I, I'm going to need some a mistake of that nature. Oh, wow. Golos. Am I going to just get a Krakus? Okay. We pretty much need an energy flux here. They can just keep bouncing their Golos with the Displacer Kitten, which is a really nice little combo. I am playing the clock here. I realize this game is likely over. That was too free. They're just going to give me the uh, Displacer Kitten. Actually, I'm going to leave this. Am I? What if I draw another Oko? They can just kill me with the constructs here have they chosen to make constructs i will take any amount of time that they are doing here hmm. Probably should have countered the Manifold Key. I thought they would have a follow-up, but they didn't. Just uh, for no other reason than uh, being able to buy another few seconds.
All right. Let's get a good opener here, guys. This does have a force of will. It does have a collector roof in it. I have no blue mana or green mana. Am I even going to be able to play magic? I get to counter one of their spells. I get to wasteland them. Nivold is really good. Do we want to just jam a turn one collector roof here? It is pretty good. Yeah. Dismember. Okay. I mean, this is pretty awkward. I really have to hope they don't have any Urza Saga stuff going on here. I need a land desperately. They did have it. Jeez. Okay. I need a land now. Okay, that was good. So here's the thing. Maybe I just wasteland their ancient tomb here. Or do I just play a bowman? And build towards an Urza Saga or an energy flux. It's hard to know. They're gonna have a three three. How do I beat these constructs if I don't wasteland them, though? I think I just have to wasteland the Ancient Tomb. I'm not happy about it. Goodness, guys, this is not good. I have to pray they don't have an ability to use their saga here. Oh, bobble. Ooh, almost got burned. I'm not thrilled about this, but I feel like they're stuck on land. I just need a land to be able to buy time with my bowmasters. masters. Okay, there it is. Thank God.
Need a land. That's all I need. All their stuff dies here. Okay, that was uh, that was really tight. <laughs> Desperately looking for lands there, but energy flux was definitely going to come through there for me, and uh, yeah, we were going to be able to sit back on consigned to memory and tack with frogs moving forward there. So we'll take that one, guys. Okay, guys, here we are in round three. We've not won the die roll. This hand is a little bit risky, but I do think it's worth keeping. We'll try it out. Three ball. Well, this is probably pretty bad for me. Uh, probably got to get rid of Leopold here. I'm going to be 100 miles away from casting them. Yeah, my hand does not shape up well against workshops here. But that is a definite no on the Trinosphere. Force. Okay. Well, we are losing bad. All right. And it resolves. Land. Okay. We need some help. Dual shops can flounder. Okay. Wow, just being punished by three ball guys. A PO. That's awful for me. Oh boy. Yuck. Yep. Okay, we're playing against Jewel. And we definitely have some good game against them. I think I did something like this last game, right? You can get your opponent with days on that deck. It's not phenomenal, but...
All right, let's try this, guys. We lost a three ball there, and maybe just not an optimal keep for us. Okay, I mean, this hand is not great. But Spell Pierce is likely to be an effective card. Okay. Masters, all right. Um, let's see what happens. Saga, okay. They may force a will this. Yep, okay, well, not optimal. Got jabated pretty hard there, didn't I? Got definitely outplayed there. Okay. Collect the roof. Um. Trying to top, get them to top down the mana vault here to pay for the three ball because the three ball's not the worst for me if they use all their mana and I can wasteland them. So let's see what happens here. Let's hope. This will allow me to Oko and wasteland.
I can treasure cruise next turn if I play my tropical island and I eat their land. I might need to do that given the circumstances here. I'm kind of gassed here a bit. Love to draw wasteland though. That would be even better. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. They could force a will here. Oh, they conceded. Wow. Okay. Well, we take those. Okay. This is not a hand we can keep. I think if there was another blue card in my hand to make it a double force hand, there is a world where I could keep and try and draw a land to cast death right and hold up double counter moving towards casting a collector roof. But this is unfortunately just straight up a mulligan. Let's just hope they have a setup turn here. Phew. Oh, that was so good, guys. I'm going to play this out so I can kick the consign. And hopefully we can resolve an energy flux. Oh no. Pretty good. Not good at all. I could lose to this card here. Let's see what they do.
I might need to answer this thing here right now. I'm going to nature's claim it. All right, we'll get rid of that lattice. And see if I can resolve my uh, energy flux. Definitely my best card here in the match. Okay, it's in. We need some help here. A black land would be a good start. Spell Pierce. Well, I'm going to wasteland my opponent off. What do I do? Do I take them off uh, the Ancient Tomb mana? I think I take them off all their mana, right? Do I care about this mana here? See, COVID a jewel, they can't really do much with me. I, I guess I'm going to kill one of these. I'm just going to have to hope I outdraw my opponent here. We're, we're going to need to start with black mana. Okay, that's not bad.
Now they can metamorph me, but they won't be able to pay for the metamorph with just a workshop. So the, meta, the collector roof here really does help because it turns off all the fast mana they could be holding in their hand to have one really big turn. Okay, they've conceded. Wow, nice match win for us there. I feel like we were behind there significantly. But we pulled it out and our big sideboard card did win, win it for us. I liked how we didn't get sidled into trying to wasteland them early in the game. We just played towards our energy flux and it ended up winning for us. All right, see you next round, guys. Okay, guys, here we are in round four. Uh, we did not win the die roll, but I do think that this is fine because we have a death right. We're, we're playing a bug mirror here with all likelihood. Hopefully my opponent does not have uh, a counter spell from my Deathrite Shaman because I'm I'm pretty in on it, and Deathrite Shaman is an important card in the mirror. Okay. land okay that does keep me off my frog potentially next turn if i don't find another land uh, like fetch or color producer we didn't this is not optimal but we're we're going to continue adding to our board here Collector Roof is not very strong in this matchup. Oh, Force of Will. Okay. Not going to fight over that. They must be holding mocks, and I, I can't imagine why they would force that. Okay, so they, they have a Lotus. Not going to fight over a, a one shot on the Lotus. A Psychic Frog. Well, I do think we need to counter that. I'm not happy about this, guys, and if they have a spell pierce, I'll, I'll scream, but I, I just feel like we're, if they have nothing else here for follow-up, we're, we're pretty ahead. Wow, guys. Do I double waste them here? I've really floundered. I've drawn four lands in a row.
I will reconsider next turn. I, I really hate the thought of doing that, but if they do resolve a frog on me, it could be a, a, a really bad for me. In general, this is just what you want to do, is you just want to be proactive and not try and get cute with this stuff. Like, I, I'm all about getting damage in here, and uh, attacking with the death right for one does matter. We got really lucky there in, in that game to win. Um, we just drew so many lands. Okay, so I think we're playing a bug mirror here. These are the cards I want. What is not good? Consigned to memory is certainly not what I'm looking for here. Force of negation is pretty mediocre. I feel like collector roof is, is pretty bad. The hand's not great.
going to just pass turn here. Is it Bowmaster or Ancestral? So I can play into a counter spell here, but I think I'm just going to attempt to time walk because if it does work, it, it allows me to set up a potential Oko that could be on Bowmaster here. That's right, Shaman was actually a really good draw. I feel like they're sitting on abrupt decay. And if that's the case, like the, the mana efficient play is to cast Oko. Yeah. But it's a much more powerful card to keep Oko in my hand. I will make a decision whether I want to dismember this uh, death right here. I think I am going to do it right now. Got a lot of mana here. Move them, move them off hard cast force. So they're obviously playing a very responsive hand. Gonna cast Oko this turn. So we played around that hard cast force pretty nice. You're down to one card in hand here. Well, that is a nod to go for this. Okay. 
Okay. I cannot beat their fluster storm here, unfortunately. So Oko is going to go about their business. They just go after my frog here, probably. Do I discard anything to it, is what I wonder. Mm hmm. That was actually a really good draw. This is gonna, I guess I can't really beat this damn fluster storm that they have, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess I can. I'm gonna kill Oko first. All right, sorry guys for the lack of commentary here. We are going to uh, exile a time lock here from their yard, continue to deal some damage. This is an example I was talking about with Loam earlier. It just seems to come up in awkward spots for me. My opponent has a ton of mana. And I realize it's not just about attacking my opponent's mana. It's about preserving mine as well. But my opponent has two cards in hand here. Leopold. I could force a will dot. I think I do.
okay guys won the mirror and 4-0 so we're sitting in a pretty good spot here see you next round okay guys here we are in round five and our opponent most recently has been playing jewel not to intone that that is what they are playing we did not win the die roll and this hand does absolutely nothing against jewel I think we have to mulligan. I, I I would like to keep it otherwise. Okay, this is much better. Much, much better. This is what we're looking for. That was a good mulligan. So, I kind of feel like I need my lands here. So I'm probably going to have to put one of these wastelands away. The wastelands could be really good though. My opponent's mulligan down. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get a little bit greedy here and try and punish their mana base. Probably will have to pitch my frog if if I get into an emergency here. Because I if this is Jewel, the Spell Pierce is going to be good. Uh, yep. They're going for a Saga. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty happy to have a blue spell here. So I don't have to pitch my Frog. Opponent has two cards in hand right now. Collector Root would also be really nice. Okay. Metamorph. Okay. Yep. I'm not going to fight over Mox in here. They're just trying to set up casting a ring or a PO here. I'm not going to fetch right now. Higher percentage of drawing a land. Not doing that. Okay. Um, do I wasteland here? I think so. If they're on a PO plan here, taking their blue source away is pretty good. Yeah, I'm not thrilled about this, but a collector roof cleans all of this up. I get a ring. I'm going to get a green source here because of Collector Roof. I can cast Collector Roof, so I'm going to get a drop. I'd like a Collector Roof or a black producing mana. Okay, that also works. I can cast Oko. Um, yeah, I just think I'm gonna, do I just leave them their mana here? Like taking their soul ring away is not irrelevant here.
maybe a little bit greedy. I'm praying I do not have to force a will here this turn. Collector for the world. All right, we're kind of, they're, they're more in this game than I care to admit. Like, I'm kind of, I, I'm having mana issues. <laughs> Is my problem here. And they got a jewel. So, I'm not going to let that resolve. My question is, do I get rid of the frog here? Because I can counter any spell they play with the negation next turn. I'm not happy about it, but I think this is the way to go. I just really desperately need to find a collector roof. Okay, this is what I got. I wonder if I just attack here. Try and kill my opponent. I think I do. Oh, evidently I skipped through my attack phase. So that plan is over with. Oh, okay. Collect roof. I have a feeling we may have lost this game here, guys. Yeah, that's really sad. I've got to get going here. Losing that three damage last turn might be uh, end up being significant here.
So we need to fade this turn. Oh no, come on. Did they rip a PO? Yep. I'm not sure what happened this game. I just felt like we were so far ahead. Got to do it now. Just have to hope they don't have much, uh, anything on top of the forge. So they probably have counter magic here, but trying to kill their death right shaman is worthwhile. They know I don't have a counter spell from last turn. They can hard cast a force of will here. They could have synced a stupor.
So this is a hard cast force. So they still have sink to stupor up here. Not much I can do about it. Move to combat. I'm just going to attack with the two two food tokens. I, I my gut is they have sink to stupor in hand, but they may not. Yes, they do. Okay. Not thrilled about it, but I'm going to switch this forge back here. And I don't think there's a reason to react here otherwise. They found something here. Another PO. Or they have another sink to stupor. They can't do that sink to stupor here. Okay. Into a jewel. Gotta cross our fingers, guys. And that's fine. Do have it. All right. Well, we just got to pray here. It's all we can do. Okay, to redraw. Okay, that's at least good for me. Look, means they're looking.
Okay. We will take that. And the good news is, is we get a lot better post forward here. Maybe I'll keep that. Let's see. Double besiege you. I do like Rome more than I probably should. Maybe I can cut an Oko. All right, let's see. Okay. Bobble just destroys me. But my hand is otherwise really nice. close. <sighs> Funny enough, I can I can actually cast Leobold here with that backup. Or do I just cast a frog? Like I'm really kind of wanting to wasteland here. Leobold's very strong can be metamorphed. They're going to I feel like I should cast Frog here. Hopefully they force.
there are punishing lines here that get me, you know, like if they're holding a whole bunch of Moxon in hand and they go into something like uh, um, a Master Core, it's pretty bad for me. Okay. I just want the card. I'm going to fly. Force of Will would be nice. Yeah, I don't mind the land here either. I can't play it, of course. Okay, here we go. If I play a Saga here, I, I probably will be proactive and just pitch the Vigor. Yep. I'm probably going to do Leovold here. Just pitch Leovold. Do have a force of will. That's fine. Just going to give it flying here, get over, and then I'm going to cast an energy flux, guys. Okay, guys. We're off to the top eight here. We're 5 0, so we don't even need to play out our sixth, uh, our 6 0 match, but we will see who it is that we bump into before we make that decision. 
Okay, guys, here we are <clears throat> in round six, and Enrichada is a Doomsday player that I believe solely plays Doomsday in Vintage and Legacy. And unfortunately, we did not win the die roll, and this is pretty important in this matchup. But I don't dislike our game against Doomsday. Unfortunately, I do not have the endurances anymore on my board, but I've moved them out for consignments. Um, this hand's a little bit clunky, but I've got a force of will, and, and that's really what I'm looking for here. We've got some wastelands to disrupt them. See if they get a basic here. Ponder, yep. Let's hope for a shuffle here. Bull Masters is actually pretty good. So, our spot's not horrendous here, because we have a fatal push if they go off. Mm. They might vampiric here end of turn, and of course that's one of the risks of not playing the wasteland, but I'm not sure what color I want with this yet. Probably green, but I don't want to do that right now. Okay, six. They've been to Doomsday. So does that mean they're just going off here? Do they or do they have a ritual in hand? Okay, ponder. Black Lotus, okay. Um, do I fight over this? I feel like I do. They did not play a land last turn, of note. No, I suspect they have their, their own counter magic here. Let's see if I can resolve the frog. I value the bowl master more here. Wow, it's just in. Okay, we're getting really lucky here. I'm going to keep the Oko in hand in case I draw four. So I, I would like to discard it, but... Ooh, that's a good one.
Just resolving. Wow. Okay. That was actually a really good draw. I'm going to, same thing, I, I want the blue card here. I realize I'm playing with fire. They may just, oh, they're just F, completely F6 here. Do I cast Oko? Nope. Okay, we get quite a bit better against them post-board because we have the consigns and the decays. Don't think I want Fatal Push. Probably can cheat on a land here. Actually, Besage you is not bad too for, for shuffling a pile. I like the way we're set up here. Yep. Currently no pressure in my hand, but... They're just going to get their Undercity Sewers here, end of turn. Not going to fight over a ponder here. Okay, protecting their lands here. It's a gamble, but I, I feel like I need to get something going here. They got a daze. Dig through time, okay. Maybe not. Just a hard cast days. They floated a mana. Okay. Just dig. Wow, that's so sweet. a great line by them hopefully i don't get punished here for for playing out something i felt like i wanted to get some pressure down my opponent is a player that runs two days 
most Doomsday players are on one these days. No pun intended. D-A-Y-S versus D-A-Z-E days. Days is for days. Okay. So, chance we're dead here. But hopefully not. Probably bait, but I feel like I need to counter it. Another day is okay. Oops. So they're digging, so they don't have it yet, which is good. Hopefully they have, well, I know they have one land. They didn't find another land, okay. If they hadn't, I, I would have considered abrupt, abrupt decaying there. Okay, I just can't uh, do anything here, I'm frozen. I'd, I'd love to cast the frog and get some pressure going, but my opponent has established their mana now. I feel like we're losing this, but we have some very powerful cards here against my opponent. I mean, they can hard cast a street race right now for crying out loud if they wanted. Be actually solid. really glad I didn't go in on trying to disrupt my opponent's mana there any more than uh, I was really planning on hitting this Mox Jet, but my opponent would feel the land every single turn afterwards.
Well, we're having a good old-fashioned standoff here. Um, both have seven cards in our hands. My opponent has gone through a couple of their street race already, three of them to be exact. Ooh, that's a good one. wonder if they have the second Oracle in hand. Well, let's let their demonic consultation resolve. Well, let's see. You know, really smart. They have the Oracle in hand. I can't beat that. Nicely done. They got all the Oracles in the hand there. And there you have it, folks. Oh. They didn't. They just had Fluster Storm. That's pretty good, too. Nicely done. Nicely done for my opponent. Okay. Um, I, I really just do like the way we're set up here. Like, sitting around and waiting against Doomsday and not applying any pressure is not a winning strategy. So. Do I just Ancestral here? Tropical here. Maybe 
Beowulf's pretty good when you can't cantrip. Okay, that's awesome. It's in. They did have the Black Lotus, okay. Not going to fight over that. Doomsday. I think I let it resolve. Do I force this? Nope, let it go. So what they do is they're going to probably just put a basic in their in their pile. I mean, I don't know how many lands they actually have in their hand. It almost certainly have to do with time walk, and we're going to fight over time walk for sure. We'll see if the Lotus goes in the pile. It's a really tough call this turn whether I'm going want to cast Oof. I think what I'm most hoping to draw is a land so I can play around days. I mean, I can sit on Abrupt Decay, but that's not a guarantee. And Collector Roof is very strong. And I am going to need to increase my clock here. So they did take Black Lotus. There's one days. There's two dazes. Okay. So they do have Ancestral. It's possible that they have gone and got a dress down. How many forces are here? One. Two. Three. All four Force of Wills. Both dazes. How many Fluster Storms? One. Two. So there is a fluster storm in their hand somewhere. So one underground sea could be in their pile or hand. Do they have both oracles? They have piled both oracles. Okay. And they do have Black Lotus. Okay, let's see, guys. Love a land. Did get a land. That's pretty good for us. How many street rates? One. Can't draw a card with a street rate though. Two, three, four. So I didn't even need to really worry about days, but what this does do is it it, it will allow me to abrupt decay next turn.
They can't draw a card. Okay, there we go, guys. So a nice clean 6-0 for the Swiss today, which is a fantastic result. And yeah, we'll take that one. Um, yeah, some really close decision lines on this one as to what I should have done there. But I, I, like, uh, I like the way we played this. All right, guys, see you in the top eight. Okay, guys, here we are in the top eight, the quarters. Our opponent, I believe, is a jewel player. And we've won the die roll, which is great. My hand, however, is not great. Um, I can't really play magic with this. Okay, I mean, this is a little bit awkward. I have to keep this. You see, I'm tempted to put back a Mox because I get the value of having the two fetch lands and the loam for the Psychic Frog. The problem is, is if I draw a Spell Pierce here, I will really wish a Spell Pierce off the probe that I had. Something like, can I keep this? This is such a trap hand. I, I feel like I have to. That's pretty bad for me. Okay, well, there you have it. Not happy to see the way things are currently comprised for me, but they can get a Mystic Forge into play here. It's not optimal, guys. They ripped a ring. Well, pretty dead here. I guess it's collector roof right now. They're going to draw just a ton of cards next turn. I'm going to have to hit something like a time walk and be able to just kill them with a frog that way. I'm going to cast the death right here. We're pretty dead.
Okay, I cannot draw a card. Because I cannot deal damage with the ring. They can use their key on their ring. The good news is, is that we have a pretty good match up against Jewel. And if this is what we want to be doing against Jewel. Okay, Let's see if we can do better than that. Geez, that was uh, pretty underwhelming from me. We gotta do better than that. Okay, this is quite a bit better. I think we just put one of the lands away. We're going to sit back on Spell Pierce, and if they don't do anything crazy and it's just a setup turn, I will Ancestral the end of their turn. I mean, what I could do, I guess, is I, I could Ancestral proactively in, in their upkeep. But I don't think that's likely a good idea. Spell Pierce is uh, traditionally fairly power powerful against Jewel. But if they just go nuts with uh, a bunch of mana rocks, then Spell Pierce can become bad very quickly. I will spell Pierce that. I'm going to ancestral myself here. I got force of will. Okay. Straight into Jewel. 
That's real bad, guys. Okay, at least it's ring. Jewel would be far worse for me here. I, I need a collector roof. Right now, please. It's a play, at least. Holding our breath here, guys. Dismember. Oh, Metamorph. Okay. That I can live with. It's not optimal for sure, but... No, Dismember. Okay. Yeah. This is just awful. I don't think we're winning this one, guys. I think we're running into the curse of clean sweep the Swiss into a quick exit in the quarters. I mean, my opponent had a pretty nice hand there, I have to admit. Um, I really needed a land to be able to cast Leovold there to be able to, be able to stay in this game, but okay, another ring. Okay, I just got bolt key. Okay, that's game, guys. All right, well. Uh, disappointing end but we are just going to do the best with it we can here um i guess we'll we'll let my opponent go about their business if they're going to put a counter on their ring here it's possible that uh they could die to it i guess if they're not careful I don't want to concede here, just in case. Oh, just another ring. All right. Okay, guys. So, uh, disappointing finish to the tournament, and our deck performed really well. I feel that we have a strong matchup against Jewel, although it is very close, as you can see by the couple matches that I had in the Swiss against it. Uh, none of them were blowouts, uh, but that's what Bug does. It just edges uh, edges out its wins. So here's the deck. Um, didn't really miss Demonic Tutor. Life from the Loam did absolutely nothing for me in any capacity. Uh, maybe if I was running into workshops, maybe it would be a different story. But uh, as per usual, my interpretation of this card is medium at best. And I saw Justin do well with it the other day. My opponents beat me with the card from time to time, but it just has not been my my bread and butter, and I, I probably will move off of it. Um, got the extra force negation in here, the extra fatal push. Um, I guess in the bug mirror, maybe it was nice having the extra fatal push there, but it wasn't overly impactful. Uh, sideboard, 
And I and I will say I continue to be incredibly impressed with Abrupt Decay. I think that this was a, a huge card for us at least two or three times in this tournament where it was very likely my opponent had counter magic and they could not answer it. The extra besage you in the board uh, wasn't big today. I, I think I only besage you one thing in the tournament, but I do like that. In addition to having lice from the loam, it is a, another selling point because with all the shops running around out there right now, being able to recur Besaju is a really powerful engine. It has the added benefit of being able to uh, shuffle your Doomsday opponent's uh, deck if they go and look for a land. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I, I really like the way the deck went ran today. And as always, I do appreciate you hanging out. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it. And we're going to see.